You're listening to episode 15 of the Webinar Hustlers Entrepreneur Podcast. Want to work less and sell more? Welcome to the Webinar Hustlers Entrepreneur Podcast, the podcast to help you scale up and take your business to the next level with webinars that sell for you. Each episode focuses on the money mindset, online marketing, and sales strategies to get you more leads and convert leads to sales, all with webinars. And now your host, business and webinar strategist, April Reed. Welcome back. Welcome back. Today, we're going to discuss the beginning stages of your webinar journey. And it all starts with coming up with a topic a really juicy, irresistible, creating desired topic that your ideal client would not want to pass up. And we're just going to dive right in because there's a lot of points that I want to address. So with anything, you always want to start with the end in mind. So what does that mean for your webinar? It means how much do you want to make on this webinar? What is your revenue end goal? And so let's just say you want to make $5,000 on this webinar, whether it be something you are selling outright on the webinar and you're sending people to a sales page or a cart where they can just click and buy, or you're sending people to a calendar so they can get on a call with you and sign up for your one-on-one coaching. Once you know how much you want to make from this webinar, then you can basically figure out, okay, so what am I trying to deliver on the webinar? So is it my group coaching program? Is it my signature coaching program? Is it a one-time intensive or a VIP day? So once you have that in mind, things are going to start coming together because now we're going to work backwards. The next thing you're going to do is set your webinar goals. So if you want to make $5,000 and your program or your package, whatever, is $2,500, then you know you only need two clients or two sales, depending on what your package is or what you're trying to sell. So you definitely need to know how many sales you need to make. This is all just math here. Because once you know how many sales you need to make and you know your close rate if you're sending people to a calendar, then you realize how many people you need to have book a sales conversation with you, depending on how often you close those sales. And if your webinar topic is on point, more often than not, the people that are going to book a call with you are going to be your ideal client and you don't have to waste time talking to people that are only there to waste your time or are only there to get free information. So now that you have the end in mind, you know how much you want to make. And so therefore working backwards, you know what you need to sell and how many of those widgets or programs you need to sell. You can start to come up with your webinar topic. And when you come up with your webinar topic, You want to make sure that it is aligned, entirely in line with what you're trying to sell. So if you are a health coach and you have a 10-week program where you help your clients lose 15 pounds, a lot of times your people are complaining about not having enough time to exercise You want to be careful not to have a webinar topic on productivity unless you are specifically talking about entitling it how to have time to exercise. And then even then you have to be careful because do people really want to learn how to exercise? Do people really want to exercise more? That's when you need to do market research and hear how people speak and talk. People want to be in better shape, better health, way less. And yes, there are a group of people who want to gain more so they're more fuller and feminine and have the curves. But putting a word like diet, you can't see, but I have my little fingers up doing the quotation marks. Diet in your title is not going to entice that many people. 
how to diet. Oh yeah, I'm going to sign up for that. No. So you just want to understand how you can talk to people and you learn that with market research. And also going back to your audience, if you have an email list or a Facebook group, or you have a Facebook page, you have a following on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever locally, if you have a group of people that you can go back to and kind of pick their brain to see what topic resonates with them, then that's golden. Okay, so once you choose a webinar topic, like I said, you wanna make sure that it's aligned, that it is congruent with what you are trying to sell. Don't have a webinar topic that's way out and left field. So now that you know that, does it also serve a pain point or a strong desire that your audience wants. Because your topic and your solution, your transformational solution, your high ticket coaching package, it may be aligned, but are you solving a pain point that people actually want solved? So you you wanna also make sure that you are delivering something that people are struggling with right now, this very moment, And it's keeping them up at night. It's costing them sleep. It's costing them time with their family. It's costing them relaxation because they're stressed all the time. You want to go after those pain points that are just, they're regretting, is gut-wrenching, and they want it solved like yesterday. You find that problem that your audience wants solved, and now you have a solution Better yet, you have a webinar on it and you're going to help them get results. Oh, baby, they're going to be there. They're going to sign up. But a lot of times what a person does is they pick a topic that not only can they they speak on it, but it's something that they want to talk about and they don't even bother seeing if it's a topic that is of interest to their audience. So you definitely... Definitely want to go back to your audience and just kind of check in. Hey, is this something that is important to you? You might find out that it's not what you thought. It's something totally different. So that just leads me to my next point that you want to poll your audience. And I already said, you know, if you have an email list, then email your list. If you have a Facebook page, then post in there. If you have a group and you need to actually tag people because it's like, hey, this is important. I'm practically going to create a solution for a problem that you stress that you have. You don't have to waste your money in dibbling and dabbling and all these little bitty courses here. The transformation is here. It's right here, but I need your opinion. So you're gonna poll your audience and you wanna find out, is this a topic? Is this something they want to learn or discover? And once you have your answer, so so once they've answered the poll, let's just say in a Facebook group and they answer the poll, and you have the, you know, it'll line up in what was most popular, bam, you have your topic, so finalize your topic. Now, once you have your topic, you wanna give it a real juicy name. And again, you wanna poll your audience. So you might come up with three or five titles for this topic, and then you'll put it again in an email or in a poll in a Facebook group and see, okay, which one of these titles of the webinar best suits my audience. Please, please do this. The big wigs do this. I know Michael Hyatt does this. Dale Partridge has even done this where they're coming up with a new product and they want to know what is the best name. And nine times out of 10, the name that they love, the name that they fell in love with, and they just knew that other people were going to like, wasn't the most popular title. And they're just blown away like, wow, like that's not the title I would have thought my audience would have wanted. So don't take for granted that you are the end all, know all. Please, 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 please poll and ask your audience. Okay, so now that you've finalized your topic and your webinar title, you're going to divide that webinar topic into three to five main ideas because you're going to teach something. Now, I wouldn't go over five main ideas, not on a webinar, because you want it to be something that's quick. You only have 
45 minutes here. The other 15 is for Q&A. I have seen webinars that have gone longer than the 45 minutes, longer than the hour. But if you're going to do that, please make sure that your webinar is super, super, super exciting and your audience is super engaged or you're going to lose them after that first hour and they're going to start thinking about everything else and half listening. So you're going to divide your webinar topic into three to five main ideas, and these are going to be your teaching points. Now, once you do that, once you have your three to five main ideas, all you're going to do is go to a Word document or Google Docs. What's another one? Well, any software where you're able to type out your ideas. So like Evernote or something else, whatever. You're going to outline your webinar topic. So you already have your topic. You already have the title. You already have your five main ideas and and they can even be Roman numeral one, two, three, four, and five. You're just going to divide each one of those main points, those main ideas into smaller points and smaller ideas. And that's going to be the outline of your presentation. Okay. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty simple. But it all starts with understanding what it is your goal is going to be so that you can work backwards to coming up with that topic. So when you know what you're going to sell, so like if you're going to sell an intensive and you're backing that to doing market research, active market research, where you're going to get three to five people on a phone and start asking them questions, you're interviewing them, your questions are going to be different knowing that you're trying to sell an intensive versus you're trying to sell a six-month one-on-one program or a course. So you definitely want to have some type of idea on what you're trying to deliver. And that's going to tailor your questions. Okay, so that's all I have. Very, very simple to come up with your webinar topic. But if you find that you're still struggling with your topic or you have a topic but you're still not quite sure if it's something that your audience will find important or want to even sit on a webinar for 30 to 45 minutes to listen to, I want to invite you to my Facebook group, The Webinar Hustling Entrepreneurs, and I will share a link in the show notes. And there we talk about, well, we just don't talk about webinars. We talk all things about webinars and coaching. And it's a sweet, nice community. You can come in there, you can ask your questions, and I'll be sure to answer them. And if I don't answer them individually, I may answer them through this podcast, or I may answer them in a Facebook Live. But I would love to have you there. I would love to see you there and just engage and have a sweet, great community. If you want to take it to the next level from just the Facebook community, reach out to me. I would love to have a conversation with you to discuss your webinar topic or even help you figure out a way that you can narrow down your webinar topic. There are so many hacks and strategies and tips and tricks on getting the perfect webinar topic. And so I would love to have this discussion with you. Or if you're not quite sure about April Reed and you're not quite sure if you want to have a discussion with me, that's okay. There, What's behind curtain number three is my freebie on how to create a webinar topic in one weekend. Actually, by the time this airs, I may have changed the name, but the link is still going to be the same. It's www.aprilreed.com forward slash webinar topic. Simple, easy. There you will get a free resource. Now you will have to give your email address. I don't think I asked for your name, just your email, but I'm not quite sure. If I do ask for your name, you know, don't send me hate mail, okay? I'm not sure. But you will give something and then you will get this free resource that's going to help you 
decide on how to get, come up with the perfect title. And it goes through the steps that I just outlined in this podcast. So if you weren't able to take great notes, then just hop on over to that freebie, www.aprilreed.com forward slash webinar topic. And be sure to pick that up so you can come up with your perfect webinar topic to host your next webinar. Okay, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much. And you're going to hear me next week on another episode of the Webinar Hustlers Entrepreneur Podcast. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to the show. I appreciate every single one of you. If you haven't done so, subscribe on iTunes. And you can also find me on Instagram at April Reed. That's A-P-R-I-L-L-E-R-E-E-D. Talk to you next week. Thanks for listening to the Webinar Hustlers Entrepreneur Podcast at www.aprilreed.com.